How's it going? What's up, boss? Sweeter than honeysuckle, sir. Making good time and the weather's cooperating. Seas are gonna be nice and flat for us. Try to get some sleep while you still can. You ought to listen to the man, little brother. I'm not all that tired. Well, you ain't gonna have time once we get to engine country. You know what? Mama be real proud of you. Cause you're beginning to sound just like her. Battlefield reflexes. Wound up kind of tight, aren't you, Fraker? A lot's on the line. I don't want anybody on this mission. It's gonna snap at the wrong time. <laughs> don't worry about me, Mikey boy. I want this one morning you do. Can't you go anywhere without making a racket? You should have been on the island last night. Oh, yeah, sure. I could meditate and jump around with you like a guy in a Bruce Lee movie. <laughs> no, thank you. Well, that's always been your problem. What's always been my problem? No tradition. Hey, I got loads of tradition. Yeah, 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 I know. Your granddad was Navy, your dad was UDT. That's right. Frogman tradition, baby. That's in my blood. The warrior tradition. The Maori. The Vikings. Now, pygmies, I know. <laughs> yeah, look, Mike, give me a break, will you? My head's pounding. How much did you party last night? You've got your pre-strike ritual, but I've got mine. What's wrong? What do you mean, what's wrong? What do you mean, what do I mean, what's wrong? We've known each other for a long time. Let's just say you're not your usual, cheerful, charming, smiling self tonight, so what up? I had a bad dream about this one. You and your dreams. You're the only frogman I know who relies more on dreams than reconnaissance. That's warrior mysticism. Yeah, right. It's a pygmy thing. <laughs> hey. What? Less than pygmy dreams. <laughs> Five million dollars. It had better be. You'll find no higher quality or better value anywhere in the world. We need to talk about delivery. I will need it guaranteed. I guarantee it. A money back guarantee. If your shipment is seized, our diamonds are returned. A shipment will not be seized. I have taken steps to assure my drugs will never be seized again. But to demonstrate my goodwill, I will guarantee 25% of the value of your shipment. 100%. This is such a distasteful place to negotiate. Fifty percent, that's as high as I can go. You can get it up further. I can feel it. The world was safe when you were all communists. <laughs> We're into profit now. What do you think of 60%? Mm. Think of a higher number. Seventy percent. Mm. Yet. I, I can't breathe. Eighty percent. Ninety percent. You're so close. Why not go all the way? Huh? Uh. 
Guaranteed action, brother. Let me pick one of them. One that says I'm gonna be rich. That'd be the Joker. Seven of swords. What does that mean? It means you're crazy for believing that crap. It's us. It's our team. Seven swords. There's eight of us, mate. You forgot about me. My survivors, remember? None of you ought to be here without me. How about it, sir? You want a car? Pick one for me. Death. Not a good card, Mikey. That one's for my enemies. Put the deck away. Six minutes! Hey, it's party time. Let's do it. Listen up. Airport is two clicks overland, Hassie and a half mile up shore. Nothing to it but, but to do, do it. it. Hey, Roy, don't blow yourself up. <laughs> Not as long as you owe me money. Let's go.
thought he was supposed to be out here. He'll be here, Mikey. Carl. The waiter. A gardener. That's all, sir. Tell you, mate, he's like clockwork. Every morning he comes out of dawn to read all the financial pages he can get his bloody little hands on. Maybe he went to take a whiz. Move. Unless you're in hail. Clear. I don't like it. There's supposed to be tons of cocaine here. Old man Roach's stills guard are better than this. Heads up. We got one minute. What's on that dart? He's not dead. Doesn't have to be. Give me those glasses. What the hell is that? She wasn't in the target folder. Well, one thing's for sure. She ain't carrying any concealed weapons. Well, depends on what you call weapons. <laughs> She's an innocent. Here, with Galindo? Navy SEALs. Dependable as clockwork. <coughs> you have earned your money, Captain Franco. Thank you. 
There's no cocaine here. What's going on? There goes the hangar, right on time. Way to go, Roy. There go the guards. It's just the gardener left. Come on, let's get Mike. How long did you think that I was going to let you keep taking bites out of me? You seized my ships. You impounded my plane. You destroyed my labs. And now you want to come into my own country, into my own home, and kidnap me! Save your bloody contempt, mate. Mr. Galindo here has billions. You really expect me to retire on a UN observer's pension? Your team's dead. And your mission is a political fiasco. How much, Fraker? Two million. Cash and diamonds. Those are my diamonds! Don't interfere. 
I'm going to cut your head off and send it back to them stuffed with cocaine. <laughs> Who the hell are you? Who the hell are you? Never mind. Let's get Glendale and get out of here. You're all dead! One more word and you're dead. You. Shut up. He keeps underwater sleds for quick getaways. How many? Enough for all of us. She's lying. Trust me. Lose what you don't need. You're all fools.
a favor, Carlos. Tell me where the diamonds are and I'll put in a good word for you. Miss Waddy to lock up till I debrief her. Hold it. She's not a prisoner. Oh, good. Then we'll find out exactly what she is. Look, I was deep undercover with drug enforcement before your cowboys came in and blew a 19-month investigation. And how come I didn't know you were there? I don't know. Maybe because I was invisible while in Russia. Maybe the right hand doesn't know what the left's doing. Or maybe you're just not high enough up the chain of command. While you're arguing, two of my men are dead. Change your bandages. Go with him, Mike. You're dripping blood. That'll be all. We have to go back. Hold still. You get the clearances. Get whatever you have to, but get us back to recover JJ. Can't authorize that. It's not the right time. Look, this thing with Fraker blew up on our faces in more ways than imaginable. That's what Glendo wanted. Yeah, but we got him. That's the bottom line. No. Retrieving JJ and nailing Fraker, that's the bottom line. I left a Navy SEAL dead on foreign soil. A friend. Men die in our business. That's our business. But I promise you, Mike, I will give you every diplomatic and political support. Politics got us into this mess. Your people wanted that rat bastard Fraker with us so their drug war could be international. Look, I want Fraker more than you, okay? But we cannot make a move on him until the time is right. The time is right now. Don't go back there, Mike. That's an order. I resign my commission. Effective immediately. Where are you going? I want a full report about your operation, ASAP. You let go of my arm. You've already got enough on your plate explaining this mess to my superiors. Where's Mike? He took off. If he wasn't hurt, if I thought he was going to make a move now, I'd send troops after him. What's up with you, Andy? How you used to be one of us. When I was a CEO, I took orders. I still take orders. Nothing's changed. Everything's changed, man. Why don't we talk about that another day? Look, why don't you get a hold of our friend and talk to her? 
telling me he cannot have everything he wants when he wants it. And after a little visit with you, nobody's gonna be able to talk to him, including me. You're gonna have to give him a couple of days to cool down. Don't take too long, Bright. If he tries to go after Fraker on his own, I will take every measure possible to stop him. I know you drive something like this. I am what I am. You and Popeye, huh? What do you want? If you're going back to San Domenico, I need to go with you. I left five million dollars in diamonds back there, and I want them back. Are they yours? They're my responsibility. I personally went on the line for them. They'll just write them off. Why don't you just leave it alone? Why don't you? My reasons are different. Look, if Fraker gets a hold of those diamonds, he'll buy himself so much cover. You'll never be able to track them down. If we go together, we may both get what we want. I didn't want to bring this up, but I just stopped Galindo from chopping your head off. So if you're any kind of man, you'll invite me to go with you. Get in. Senor Galindo. Senor Galindo, this is a political misadventure of the most grievous nature. I've already filed diplomatic protests and have demanded your safe return. Shut up and you listen. Now you contact Fraker, you tell Fraker that if he does not find some way to get me out of here, he will never see his money. However, if he is successful, I will pay him double. S Senor Galindo, I, I really don't want to be a part of anything illegal. I'll After you contact Faker, then you get word to my head of security. You tell him that he will hunt down this woman who betrayed me, and she will die a, a slow death. Uh, Senor Galindo... I it will be either her or your wife. The choice is yours. I wanted to be Bogey. You mean Bacall? Well, she was my second choice. How long have you lived here? Since 89. Is that when you got divorced? Any kids? One, a teenage boy, lives with his mother in Atlanta. Hmm. My son's eight, lives with his dad in Brussels. I guess that's the price we pay for the life we choose, isn't it? Well, lives choose us. Mike, you're bleeding again. Here. Wow, that looks deep. There's part of the wound that's not closing properly. Just put a bandage on it. You don't like to depend on anyone for anything, do you? This tattoo, it's Maori, isn't it? Yeah. Circling the scar, is that meaningful or coincidence? It means something to me. There's something here that... Oh, sorry. Wow. It's a shark's tooth. 
souvenir for you. <laughs> I hate sharks. Always figured it'd be a shark that did me in. Gonna have to put a few stitches in this. Gonna hurt. And on behalf of the City of Miami and Millennium Cruise Lines, I present you with this All-American Gymnastics Trophy. Thank you. This is great, really. The crews, everything. Everyone's been so nice that it just makes us want to compete even harder. I accept this for the team and for Coach Van Holt. Coach? Thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone for coming out for this lovely reception today. I'd also like to thank Millennium Cruise Lines, uh, the mayor here, for his graciousness. And last but not least, the city of Miami. <laughs> from Millennium Cruise Line. Congratulations! Yeah. Thank you. We planned a day trip to the Bahamas. It's a little bonus while we lay over. Oh, courtesy of Millennium Bahamas. Cruise Line. south. Well, I'm sure the pilot knows where he's going. Then why is he going south? Well, maybe there's a storm he needs to go around. The sky is clear. Sir, can you please take your seat? I want to talk to the pilot. Going somewhere, mate. <laughs> Quiet down, please. Who the hell are you? When you're ordered to do something, I suggest you do it immediately. <laughs> now, get in your bloody seat! Get in your seat now! Yeah, okay. Right. 
Now we're about to land at our destination. A derivative of the word destiny. Now if all you little boys and girls behave yourselves, you'll probably get rich telling stories and writing books about your terrifying ordeal. But if you misbehave, every single one of you will be writing your obituaries. You understand me? Now everybody calm down and have a nice flight. Place, sir. Everything's all ready to go. Come on, double time. America's sweetheart, darling. In fact, you're the sweetest of them all. Come with me. No. Come on, darling. I'm gonna put you in the movies. Down here. Six hours. Do you have any coffee? Never drink it. Don't you buy any for your guests? Never had a guest. Uh, I hope you don't mind. I, I borrowed a shirt to sleep in. Well, how many drawers did you go through to find it? Uh, what can I say? I was wired. I was up. I, I was curious about you. Did you try to get in here, too? Uh, well, not exactly. Oh. I made you something. They say, wear the tooth of the shark that bit you and you'll never be shark bait again. It's true. Trust me. You know, a paranoid person would really hate this house. Where did you get your masks? They were gifts. Really? The weapons, too? Yeah. 
Gurkha throwing knives, a kendo sword, a Zulu MP. You know a lot about warrior culture. Yeah, but I can only imagine the weapons you have in there. How serious are you about going back to San Domenico? I don't like leaving things unfinished any more than you do. I just hope you're not planning on invading with Zulu spears. Wow. Very impressive. Browning 30 caliber? You're quite a collector. Well, if these are gifts, you must have uh, friends in high places. He's lucky he's got any friends at all. What took you so long? Has he been playing I'll show you mine if you show me yours? Yeah, his is pretty impressive. <clears throat> Roy, we need to talk. No. Negative. Negatory. I am not going back into that jungle. Sure you are. No, I'm not. You know you are. You always do. Oh, no, not this time. Well, why'd you come here? To stop you from doing something that I'm going to live to regret. I regret leaving J.J. behind. No, 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 no. Don't do this to me, brother. You know I've got my retirement all planned out. I need your help. Look, man, in 30 days, I'm out, a civilian. Start my own security business, applying SEAL tactics to the asphalt jungle, trying to help people. Yeah, yeah, I know. Shadow warriors in the big city. You're damn straight. And if you're going to be in with me, man, you got to clean your act up. OK, well, there's time for that. But you owe me. I owe you for what, Kuwait? Kuwait? Yeah, what about Grenada? How much startup capital do you need for your business? What? The government's insurance carrier is offering 20% reward on recovery of the diamonds. No. No, this ain't fair. This ain't fair, Mike. All right. All right, I'm doing this for JJ, not for diamonds and not for revenge. I'm doing this because I don't want to see you two get yourselves killed or accidentally start World War III. Thanks. Oh, yeah, man. You're welcome. And we can count on him. Hey, I heard that. This is it, Mike. This is it. Last time. I mean it. Sure. My name is Carol Todd. I am a member of the All-American Gymnastics Team. We have been kidnapped in reprisal for the illegal abduction of Carlos Galindo. We are being held hostage at the Devil's Island in the Gulf of Mexico. If Carlos Galindo is not brought here in exchange for us by 6 p.m. tomorrow, our cell will be flooded. If anyone tries to save us by force, we will all be drowned. So please, try not to die! What do we know? Well, sir... We know they're being held at Fort Tortuga in the Gulf of Mexico. It's located halfway between Florida and Cuba. It was our Devil's Island during the Civil War. No one has ever escaped because the waters are shark infested. It's very difficult to get out, but it's equally as difficult to get in. Then how the hell are we going to extract those innocents? We're going to start by not authorizing any more ill-advised military interventions. We need to establish a dialogue and open negotiations. You don't negotiate with people like this. You hit them with the biggest hammer you have. I agree with Powers. This calls for decisive action. Swift response. These are American gymnasts, precious and beloved by the American people. As far as keeping another foreign drug lord locked up, no one cares. Another will come and take his place. Make the exchange. Gentlemen. Two of my men died putting Carlos Galindo behind bars. You have your orders.
close your eyes. Now, let every muscle in your body get strong. Hey, hey, I can't do this, okay? I can't. I tried, Mike, but this is not my thing, man. Think positive. <laughs> I'm positive I don't want to break a coconut in my bare hand. This is not about the coconuts. No, this is just plain nuts. Come on. Do you mind? I wanna, I'm trying to concentrate here. You've distracted her. I'll tell you what, you two, you do the coconut thing, and I'll join you when you get to the weapons thing. You can do this. Just focus every bit of your energy into the coconuts. You want me to focus my energy? That's it. You want me to break the coconut? Now you're getting it. No tradition. come after him, so he ordered a preemptive strike. I think it was Galindo's men looking for me. Oh, what's the difference? They both cut from the same cloth and they missed. Now it's our turn. What are you doing? We're going fishing. I've been ordered to release Carlos Galindo. Over my dead body. More likely over mine. I'm personally delivering him to Fraker. Unless you get there first. Be 
Nice, huh? I don't get it. Why would Fraker hold the hostages in U.S. territory? Because Devil's Island is a fortress. He can't approach it by air or surface because she'll be spotted. The only way in is underwater. And it's Shark City. Yeah, we trained there once. Sharks school up by the hundreds. Never seen anything like it. No, I mean, why didn't he stay in San Domenico? Because he wants his blood money. In U.S. territory, he keeps Galindo under his control. But that was his mistake. Exactly. Now he's within reach. You want the Fraker? I'm giving you an opportunity to get it. Wait, I'm missing something here. You told us you'd gotten your orders. Well, this is sort of the gray area here. Mm. I can give you reconnaissance. I can offer you tactical support. Call it back up, but basically... This is a covert operation. If it goes wrong, we're on our own. Shadow warriors all the way. what you wanted, wasn't it? Chance to get Fraker. It's any consolation. I'll hang with you. Why the about face, Andy? I mean, what about your politics? I choked on him. Welcome home. I talked to Chase and to uh, Derek. They're in if you're in. Study the tape. I'll get you as much intelligence as I can. You got 30 hours before Fraker begins killing the hostages. Beware what you wish for. My name is Carol Todd. I am a member of the... Galindo, sir. 3.30. Perfect timing. Now things are going to get interesting. Mr. Galindo. How am I doing so far? Well, I'm still in chains. Don't worry, mate. I've got it all under control. Is the armor car there yet? Yes. Good. You'll find a change of clothes. Call me once you're on the plane. Shouldn't take more than 20 minutes. Well, I have my own desires to discuss, Fraker. Fraker! Fraker! What's your favorite part of the battle, Craigan? When does your heart pound the hardest? First confirmed kill, sir. Over way too fast. See, mine is right now, when the countdown to zero hour begins. What kind of a plane is this? The type that Frega requested. He also mentioned that you're a wonderful pilot. Well, I'm not flying all the way to San Domenico in that. No, you're flying to Devil's Island. It's another one of Frega's demands.
You ever fly one of these things? <laughs> Once, but that was the time. you will be killed. So what now? I don't know, but there's got to be a way out. There it is. 
it is. All right, level your yoke and circle. All right, we're here, Breaker. I insist you bring the hostages out where I can see them. You're not in a bloody position to insist on anything, Powers. But we're not landing until I see the hostages. Can't do that. Sorry, mate. Gotta see Galindo first. Oh, you'll see him. You'll see him in a free fall without a shoot unless I see the hostages. You better figure out who's running things here. Listen to me, Franker. This isn't the time to prove your manhood. Just show the man what he wants to see. I've got nothing to prove, mate. You do, if you want your money. Bring up my favor. Okay, Powers. Keep your bloody eyes open, mate. I'll show you one hostage. But not for long. Clear inside. Nothing to it but to do it. Are you wearing your shark's tooth? Got it right here. Open it. All right. You! Come on! No! No! no. Get over! Better pray she does what she's told. Powers, can you see her? Safe and sound. But I'm afraid if you don't land right this minute, Craig and he's gonna drop her. Take it down. Come on, baby.
easy. This way. Put him with the hostages. He will feel what it is like to be caged like an animal. You harm anyone, this place will be leveled. Not while I'm holding all the cards, mate. Throw him in the dungeon. Not her. She's coming with me. A pretty hostage. No, you don't. Never leave home without one. Let's go. Smoke him right now, boss? No. Round two for Mr. Galindo. I'll go topside and take care of the missiles. Breaker sent me down. See if you're lonely. There! I can't find the keys.
didn't blow.
it in the plane. I want my payday in cash, diamonds, and a large, large whiskey. Tell me, baby. Get it into Rio. Step away from the door, please. was a fool. Let me go and I'll pay you. Anything you want. Save your money. You're going back to jail. Get in the plane. Let's go. This way. Bring 
his wings. JJ, now rest in peace. I wonder what JJ saw in those tarot cards. Just superstition. Oh, look who's talking. You believe in omens, navigate by your dreams, and rely on everything from tea leaves to chicken entrails. <laughs> entrails are unreliable. Hey, my aunt reads tea leaves. She says she can see your future in the bottom of the cup. Yeah, our granddaddy swore he could read the bubbles in a beer mug. Did y'all know that old man Roach has a three-legged dog? <laughs> so what's it gonna be, huh? Are you in with me? We have a team here or what? Hunter says she's down with it, and so do these guys. Andy says he's gonna steer everything the agency can't handle right to us. In fact, we got something right now. But we can't talk about it yet. So, out with the old, in with the new? Looks like I'm caught in a crossfire. <laughs> Nowhere to hide, brother. In with the new. See? I told you we could count on him. Shadow Warriors. Now and forever. <laughs>